What's good, everybody? I'm going to be talking about Gothatel's buffs and changes. There's a pretty significant one here. Fairy and Dark type. However, it has Psychic Surge. So it's essentially pseudo triple typed. Obviously, that's not really how that works. But uh, in Gen 7, of course, the surges do give a 50% boost. So it effectively does, uh, when you use Psychic Surge at least, have stab on Psychic moves still. Because I acknowledge that Gothatel does have Psychic powers. However, the Fairy and Dark typings both also fit Gothatel really well. And you might be thinking, yeah, that's kind of stupid still. I'm not sure if I'm buying it. Uh, it's also a balancing choice because uh, there are other psychic dark types. Uh, there are actually quite a few in this hack that I had to balance around, as well as a bunch of psychic fairy types. So both of those typings, there's already very uh, a lar very large oversaturation of them. Fairy dark is also a really good uh, typing in general uh, compared to psychic dark, which is not terrible. Psychic dark is not terrible, but uh, if you compare Fairy Dark, you know, it has three weaknesses, a four times resist a dragon, two times resist a ghost, and then it's dragon and psychic. Uh, it's also weak to bug now, by the way. Fairy Dark is weak to bug because fairy is now neutral, or bug is now neutral on fairy in this hack, so that's something to keep in mind. But as for psychic dark, uh, what's one I can't I can think of right now, Malamar. Um, it's one of the pretty shit typing. Uh, offensively, it's good, so that's what saves it. Its offense is good, uh, and you do have that psychic immunity, but otherwise, it's pretty garbage because your four times just weak to bug, which is a big deal in a hack like this, where bug is a pretty great offensive type now, and it has all types of really powerful moves. Also, um, it's weak to fairy. Not, not, so two weaknesses is not bad, but you have zero resists. That's the main issue. You have zero resistances as a dark psychic type, so it's not bad, but not as good as dark fairy especially on a bulky slower pokemon like this uh not to mention pokemon like grumpig and hypno are now psychic and dark type as well as a few others that i have planned coming up let me go check uh my list real quick psychic dark psychic dark come on where are they come on buddy there we go yeah so there are five planned uh malamar hypno grumpig already out and there's two oh sorry and hoopa unbound and then there is uh, one other new one that will be getting that typing. So that's five. It's Fairy Darks. There's Mega Absol, Gothitelle line, and there's going to be one more evolution, uh, one more Pokemon with the Fairy Dark typing eventually. So uh, definitely a less common type combo. And it's a much better one, like I said. And I think it's really fucking cool. So logically, Dark typing, I think it's a pretty common type change for ROM hacks for Gothitelle. You know, it's first of all, it's very gothic. Second of all, you know, it's talk it talks about how, especially in, well, first of all, uh, hold on. First, Gothitelle is actually less dark than Gotharita, for example, with the Pokedex. First of all, it's called the Manipulate Pokemon, all right? That's a dark, pretty dark verb. Uh, verb? Noun? Whatever. Too, too late. Doesn't, I'm not going to dwell on that. Um, it says, this Pokemon will hypnotize children to put them to sleep before carrying them away. Be wary of nights when the starlight is bright. Uh, according to many old... That's the wrong one, sorry. Uh... It's said that when stars shine in the, in the night sky, this Pokemon will spirit away sleeping children. Some call it the Witch of Punishment. That sounds very dark type to me, and then design-wise, they very much look like the part dark types. So, dark typing perfect. So, I already explained why they're not psychic dark type because not only is it kind of a lackluster type combo for them, it's also a lot less cool than fairy dark with psychic surge. I love the idea of that, similar to like Ho Oh and Lugia, which are fairy flying and water flying with, sorry, fairy flying and psychic flying with uh, sweltering sun and stormy seas. It's kind of a similar situation where like their ability essentially gives them triple stab. Uh, I think it's really cool. Um, and, and mechanically, it's very nice. You know, you are immune to first impression with Psychic Surge up as well, which is really nice, because that's a very common offensive move in this hack. Uh, and you're also, of course, immune, immune to other priority moves, but most importantly, the, the most common one is going to be first impression. And you are weak to that now, so being immune is nice. Uh, and then your other ability is incredible as well, Magic Bounce. But before I get into the, how that works and the stat buffs and all this really important stuff, because their stats are also great, um, is that the Fairy Typing, because you might be, you maybe you're convinced on the Dark Typing, but not the Fairy Typing. Uh, fairy is pretty canonically associated with starlight in pokemon and space uh, both psychic and fairy because i keep i'm acknowledging yes um got to tell is psychic i mean it literally sees into the future of course it's psychic that's why it has psychic surge you know it's it it, it, it's, it, it has stab on psychic moves still so it's not like i removed the psychic element from got to tell um i think it's really fucking cool to have a triple tap pokemon if you don't like it i, I honestly kind of don't care i think it's cool as fuck um and this is a very self-indulgent rom hack so you know if i haven't convinced you oh well cope i don't know what to tell you um but yeah starlight is the source of their power it talks about the stars shining in like literally every pokedex entry and it's uh god is called the astral body pokemon so fairy typing fits very very well in my opinion so all three of those types fit fairy dark and psychic all three of those fit therefore fairy and dark with psychic surge otherwise it would have been like psychic fairy with dark aura which is like kind of shit 
because it's only a 30% boost and it's non-stab. And I don't know, there's already a lot of fairy psychic types, like a lot actually in this hack. There's like eight or nine of them. So I don't want any more of them. Um, fairy dark is the least common of those possible type combos. And it's also, again, in my opinion, the most fitting based on their design and stuff. So that's that for the typing. Uh, keep in mind, in this ROM hack, you do have access to infinite usability capsules. So you can easily switch between psychic surge and magic bounce. Magic bounce is an incredible ability because all kinds of status moves in this hack are created to specifically counter setup. Uh, Priority, Topsy Turvy, Priority, Heart Swap, Priority, Whirlwind, and Roar, which only have 3 PP for balancing reasons, of course. Otherwise, you, you could just set up entry hazards and win the game by spamming them. Um, Magic Bounce stops all that, though. It also stops Taunt, which is another very common anti-setup measure in this hack. So being immune to all that is great, uh, especially because I even removed Mental Herb from the player's uh, arsenal, so that way you can't just slap Mental Herb on and set up turn one. Uh, not that setting up turn one would be free because there's so many strong things in the hack and strong priority moves and phasing moves and unaware Pokemon and all this, other, all this other stuff that setup would not be. Setup is still viable, but it's not nearly as overpowered as it used to be because keep in mind, AI I can't switch out uh, for the most part unless they use switch moves like parting shot bolts, which are U-turn, which are very common now. Speaking of, got the tail has both volt switch and parting shot, which is nice. Uh, but giving volt switch to all types of uh, Pokemon that already learned electric type moves just because why not? It's a ROM hack. Like, it, kind of does, it was kind of weird that they didn't give it, because U-Turn is on a bunch of non-bug types, you know, so I don't know why Volt Switch is in all more Pokemon. Um, and it's just nice utility to, to be able to, you know, get a switch move going for in-game. Uh, very, very bulky. Got the tells 80, 95, 130. And again, the Fairy Dark typing is a pretty great type. And it's also very strong with 125 special attack. And that's the Magic Bounce can help you uh, get off stuff like Calm Mind or Nasty Plots easier, as well as Barriers or Cosmic Powers. You also have cool stuff like Z Mind Reader, which gives you plus three special attack, and Stored Power, which gives you plus one special attack, and it only has three PP. So you've got all types of cool stuff there. You have powerful nuke buttons like Fleur Cannon and Twilight Cannon. Uh, and then, you know, Psy Strike, and you have other powerful stats like Moon Blast, Night Days, Radiant Edge, you know, all kinds of really good stuff. Uh, also, I haven't mentioned this yet, by the way, if you are new here, welcome. Definitely check out the description below. If you're watching my videos and you have yet to click that link in the description and look at all the move buffs and changes, you're doing yourself a huge disservice because those are super important to understand how the Pokemon function now um, because 600 plus moves have been buffed and changed in some regard. So definitely give those a look. Um, Regardless though, great utility, Wish uh, plus something like Doom Desire and Future Sight is very strong. Doom Desire and Future Sight are both 160 base power. Doom Desire is Dark type, so that's Stab, and then of course Psychic Surge makes Future Sight Stab if you're running that. Keep in mind, you can easily switch between your abilities, right? So you're running Psychic Surge for one fight and then Magic Bounce for the next. It really just depends on what you need. Uh, being immune to Taunt is beautiful. Even if you're not setting up, it's also just good for utility. You can Parting Shot on the lead. You can get off whatever you need to get off screens, you know, whatever you want to do. There's all types of things. The sky's the limit. Um, other great utility moves for totems and stuff like Encore, Tearful Look, Tickle, Fake Tears. Uh, Heal Block is actually pretty good because a lot of the totems will have like recovery moves and also Hala. It's good for Hala because a lot of the Pokemon might have Drain Punch. So Heal Block lasts for 15 turns, so you can actually permanently disable essentially. Meanwhile, actual disable only lasts for I believe, what, five turns in this game? Four? I think it's four. And then Encore is three. Yeah, I believe it disables four now. Uh, let, me, let me double check though. Because you're pretty sure I could change it. I made it five turns. Okay, cool. So disable is five turns, actually. It used to be four. I think that's the case. It used to be four, now it's five. Um, that's pretty good. But obviously, uh, heal block could be situationally pretty cool. Um, and, and also, on certain Pokemon sets, it actually disables multiple moves because there's a lot of draining moves now. Uh, so you could disable, like, I remember for Baron Black, there was, like, Totem, uh, Totem Electros had, like, three draining moves, and so you could heal block him and disable half his moves. But anyway, sorry, this is very uh, tangent. D of a video. So honestly, I'm just going to leave it off there. Uh, they have all kinds of other good support, though. Uh, powerful stab moves, all kinds of powerful stab moves. Great coverage. You know, you got Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Energy Ball, Aura Sphere, Focus Blast, Will-O-Wisp is great utility, Icy Wind. Uh, again, Psychic, Fairy Dark co coverage is already really good. You don't even need the other moves, but the other ones are nice. Just to tack on for specific fights if you need to hit a specific Pokemon. That's part of the beauty of this, is that you can easily switch around your moves, your move sets with the TM and Tutor options you have access to. Uh, Dismal Cry, Disarming Voice are great. Those are stab moves, 60 base power that drop uh, special attack and attack by one, like Mystical Fire, kind of. So that's really strong. Uh... Yeah, there's a couple other things I could mention, but I'm going to leave it off there. I think I've talked for long enough. Thank you so much for listening. Hopefully you like this buff and change for God with Hell. I think it's fucking sick, so I could honestly care less, but hopefully you like it. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll be back for uh, another sick one actually coming up. So, yeah, peace.